So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Obviously, this is a special type of diagram. It's a graph. So whenever I deal with graphs, I like to pay attention to where are my intercepts on the graph because those most times end up being important in some way. So I know I have a y-intercept here at 2, and I have an x-intercept here at 8. So the question says the graph of y equals f of x plus 14 is shown. Which equation defines function f? Oh, I got it. Okay, so the graph is, this graph is not to match with one of these answer choices, right? This graph here that's provided for us is this, right? So we have f of x, which is a whole separate graph, which is what we're trying to find as an answer choice. And we know that this plus 14 has been added to it. So the question is, what is a, what does, let me just write it down. What does adding this 14 here do to the function, right, the f of x? Well, all it does is give it a vertical shift up 14 units, which means, and let me clean all this up, so that means that our actual graph looks just like what's been provided here, except it's 14 units below where we have it here. So instead of having a y-intercept at positive 2, so instead of a b equaling 2, our b will equal negative 12, right? Because that's just going from 2 down 14 units. And it looks like that's enough information. So just knowing this, just knowing that b is equal to negative 12, our y-intercept, right? I have y y equals mx plus b. I know that b is equal to negative 12 because our actual graph must be 14 units down because we're just reversing the 14 units vertically up that this f of x plus 14 does. And the only answer choice that has a negative 12 in the b position is choice a, right? So choice a must be the correct answer. There's no need to check anything else, right? There's no way that our y-intercept is positive 16. There's no way that it's positive 2, and there's no way that it's negative 14 either.